Well, that, I mean, and that's the other thing too, right? So here's our next question. Best name to get your name out there for sponsorship. We talk social media, be authentic. Um, all right. Above um, all that, above all that, above all that, you have to win races. Mm. That's how you get your name out there. I think that's big, but, um, you both, because there are guys that are, are sponsored. I mean, I've said, I've said this on, uh, when we had like our personal podcast as well, that I think I probably don't, didn't. If you go off results, I don't think I deserve the amount of funding help that I got in all the years that I've been racing. But I think both networking, especially, and then a bit of a social following, and then the following I had through like announcing and stuff, and and the fact that you could, it was, I mean, it was more commission based of me bringing people to the team or working to pay it off. So there's ways to get your name out for sponsorships. What Ashley said is huge. Just going to races and and volunteering. I mean. There was a, a thread we had on Cart Pulse on one of the, the major uh, forums, which a big shout out to Jane Zuckman and that uh, that group over there. Um, and I told the kid, the kid was, uh, I think it was maybe 16 or 17, probably didn't have a whole lot, maybe more than like a 206 budget. And I was like, look, like, you know, especially right now with the labor shortage in the country, I think every shop would happily take an extra kid to run around the tent and pick up trash and wipe down go-karts and stuff like that. You don't even have to be mechanically inclined, but if you do that enough and you volunteer your time, there are good people out there that will take care of you and you'll find them. So in terms of getting your name out there, social media is big, um, but you know, working hard is good and, and you can, winning races is important, but being, being mature as well, I think, yeah. uh, because obviously when you're coming up and you're, you're younger and um, you know, like a lot of the kids like 14, 15, 16, and that's kind of where you're getting to the point where maybe you're thinking about cars, maybe you're getting really good. Um, you know, adults really pay attention to the way you act and uh, just being mature and knowing how to talk and knowing um, and not just not just not being a little kid like adults realize that thing. And then like they'll they'll like uh, watch your racing. And if you can just like get to know some people that are, that are older and maybe grow a bit of a network there, that's like how you sponsorship is all networking and racing. So it's all about just knowing people and making people like you really. Yeah. Yeah, um, I agree with that. Yeah. It, it's it, – if you make a good impression right, you find the right people, they'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah and you, Connor's, yeah. Connor's done a really good job with that. Like, Connor plays the very happy medium of being a kid while also being mature. Like, he's – he's Connor, you're a mature kid. Like, I'll give you a compliment right here. Thank you. But you know how to you know how to clown, but you also know how to, like, be serious when you need to. So Yeah, that, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, you don't – you need to be serious at a, at a, to a certain point. I mean, you can't, there's, I see kids out there that are just, they're taking it to a point of not having fun. And in the end, it's all about having fun. So if you're going out there and you're taking it way too serious and you're not having fun, then there's no point. I mean, yeah, your odds might be a little bit better, but the people like that want to sponsor you, they don't want someone, I mean, in certain cases they might, but they don't want someone that's like straight to the point. This is it. They want people that people are going to like, and people aren't going to like the people that are not going to have fun on an interview or not going to have fun when they're talking to you or they, they like the people with personality. So you have to find the happy medium of it. And also another thing is if you come off the track and you go sit in your trailer and go on your phone and no one's going to know who you are. I mean, unless you go out there and win every single race, you got to go up to people, shake their hands, meet, meet them. Then that's, that's the thing. You, you, you have to know people in the sport. You can't, you can't do it all on your own. I mean, to a certain point, you're, you're going to run out of funding eventually. So you have to know people and that's basically what the sport's all about. Yeah. And, um, you know, what, when you break it down, you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, when it comes to sponsorship, those guys are not giving you money because, you know, they sell 10,000 cars when you win a go-kart race. They're going to get or a car race or whatever, you know, your job is to try and help their business make more money, whatever the sponsorship is, you know, however it's structured, 90% of advertising sponsorship is based on you helping drive, you know, whether it's recognition and exposure or eventually to their bottom line with sales. So if you think of it that way and you're like, all right, well, how can I be a value to that company, especially for kids is, as you guys start to work on your social media and stuff like that, having a personality is big with everything Connor and Braden are doing. 
um, you know, what Polly's doing more of and, you know, what Ashley mentioned, she wished she did more of that stuff's all huge too. But don't forget, like those guys aren't giving you money just because they think you're a good person and, and can win. You know, it's really important that you figure out a way that they're like, man, I gave you a thousand and they feel like they got $2,000 back. And that's how you get sponsors to keep coming back and to keep, you know, going with us. It's the same thing here, right, with our show. You know, we can only charge so much for the commercials you guys see in between each segment because it's based on the amount of viewership and eyeballs they get driven to their website. And then that, at the end of each month, for us as a sponsorship and as a show, we go to those companies and we say, all right, how many extra clicks did you get to your website during happy hour or since at least you started advertising with us? Um, and all right, are you getting back the money that you're spending to advertise with us? Is that worth it to you? And you try and find a number that's worth it. So that's where the social media following comes in. Cause if you can get them to a lot of eyes, if you're a guy that's known around the racetrack, you know, Connor, Braden, Ashley, Pauly, these guys are all sponsored um, by manu by equipment. And that comes down to the fact that they're well known. And if someone comes up and talks to them at the racetrack and they're like, Hey Connor, how's your till at rib vest? Or whatever rib vest you're on now. I'm not sure which one you've got, but it's still it. Yeah, till it rib vest. Connor will be like, Yeah, my ribs haven't broken in a couple of years. So then they might go buy one. <laughs>